but not quickly. All right. My fault about that. We're going to be looking at Andrew Finlay. Um, <laughs> and, uh, um, this is from American Idol, obviously. Oh, it shows right there. I like it when you tell us what season it is. Season 9. Uh, I don't know exactly how many seasons American Idol had. I might be getting to it right now. Okay. Damn. Why would you Bing? Why can't I just see a number? You know what I'm saying? 20. You know what? I'm just going to go ahead and guess 22. I'm going to guess 22. Two. 22, I'm going to guess. Then how many seasons? Yup. Oh, wow. I didn't even see it right. My fault. Man, my dumb behind right here. 22 seasons. American Idol. Uh, Ryan T. Crest, Mark Thompson, Randy Jackson, Simon Cowell, Paula Abdul. From the last time, I forgot uh, that last girl's name. Um, I know some of y'all are going to hate me for that, but I definitely forgot that last person's name. Uh, I'm trying to see the cast. Can I see the cast, please? Okay. I'm not going to ABC. Yeah, I'm not doing all that. That's just, I'm not doing it. But, I mean, I'm pretty sure we all know who was, you know what I'm saying, who was there. We all know. I mean, just growing up. Oh, here we go, right? Nick Jonas was a, dang, I didn't know he was a judge at one point. But, all right, let me get back to the video. We got Andrew Finlay. Uh, I need to know where this guy's from because, yo, he was hilarious. Enough for local musician Andrew Fenlon. Do you think you have a chance? Like, you could be the next American Idol? Or? Yeah, yeah. If I don't get interviewed all the time, this is messing me up. Seriously. And he... He he is just not... He's not in the, in the right state of mind right now. He's upset. He's mad. Because this guy has been waiting. He's been waiting, mind you. Uh, so he's not in the right state of mind for to begin interview, nothing like that. Then again, you got to have the right amount of professionalism when you go into an audition like that. That's nationwide. You got people just coming all over the nation coming to audition for this. Like you got to have some have some respect, like, you know what I'm saying, for the other contestants and everything, like, as they would have the same respect for you, or as you would want them to have the same respect for you uh, when you go up. But, yeah, overall, he's just, you know, he's, you know, he, he's, a, he's he's got an attitude, he's got the glasses that's picking up Wi-Fi, he can't get the Wi-Fi on his phone. Contestant number six, uh, six, 64,308, okay, a whole bunch of 64,307 people went before him, okay, <laughs> let's just get into the video, okay, it wasn't the looming audition that was making, I mean, look at this guy, where did this guy come from? I mean, he looks like that kid that got picked on in, in, in middle school. And he always got chosen last for dodgeball. Like, hey, hey, do you think you this guy can sing? If he walks into your studio, do you think this guy can sing? Glasses are a little crooked. Don't even know what brand those are. Hair is like halfway combed. He doesn't, he does not look like he wants to be here right now. Like, just look at this guy. Intense. <laughs> Look at the glasses just hanging off like for dear life. He does not want to be here right now. Where would you rather be at? It, I don't know what year it is right here. If it's season nine, oh, I forgot what year they started. But if it's season nine, I don't know. Somewhere between 2010 and 13, I'm going to guess. You could be at home looking for a job, whatever the case is, and no, you're here. In his mind, he's here waiting to follow a dream that he doesn't even really care about. That's obvious. He doesn't even really care about. 
It was the waiting. I'm starting to get the itch to want to get going. And the waiting. Uh, and look at that. Adam's apple he's got going on, man. My Adam's apple is nowhere near as obvious as his is. Like, man, that's one thing. Like, yeah, people we have some serious Adam's apples, yo. Like the right karate chop. And, uh, he's down for the count. <laughs> and the waiting. It's grueling. This one. You don't care. You don't care. You don't care. Why are you here? You don't care. You're flicking off the cameraman? Come on. Th this is definitely a staged one. Definitely. Uh, you know, cut this stuff, man. You know? You're single. You're married. You have kids? Uh, no. Yes. Single. Yes. Totally single. You hear that, everybody? I'm single. Out of here. Get Roblox head face ass. Nobody wants to date you. Look at this setup that you came in with. Tight totally shirt. Singles. Got the Wrangler. What is up with the Wrangler jeans? That is just like a trend. With the with with the American Idol auditions. Like, what is going on? Look at this jawline though. Guy should be in the movies. Like, he should be trying to get a movie role. That everybody. I'm single. Alright, well, I'm gonna send you anything else all we right. should know? No, not really. We got it all. Piss off, Ryan. I've been waiting for like 12 hours. I don't want to get inter interviewed by you anymore. God. Alright, yeah. Covered? Good yeah, luck. I'm ready. Head on that way. Oh, I'm in there? That's where they're, they're judges are. Yes. Oh, I'm about to go? Yeah. Right now? Yeah. Whoa, you wanna wait? No, you wanna no, like to no, wait? No, I'm, I'm <laughs> reared and ready, man. I'm ready to go. So he been waiting for so long. There's no way he could have thought, oh, I'm not going in. He was waiting for so long, he thought they were just getting him up to do another interview and sit his ass back down. That's what they thought he was going to, like, that is, that is crazy, friend. And once again, we get to see. You want to wait? No, I'd like to wait. No, I'm, I'm reared and ready. I don't know what kind of shoes, though. Those are, I don't, those definitely look like Wranglers. Definitely. Not Levi's, Wranglers. And I'm ready to go. All right, we're well, and ready right through so, there. Look like some kind of off-brand Tim. I don't know. Yeah. Hello. Hello. Hi. But let's take a look at the, uh, the judges we got today. Tough crowd. Tough crowd. Definitely a tough crowd. Definitely. Hi, how are you? Come in. Well, and what's your name? My name's Andrew Finlan. Andrew, and what? Look at, I mean, tough crowd. You got uh, Randy Jackson, who's already, he, he's critical. I'm not going to lie. Sometimes Randy Jackson, he be nitpicking, okay? I don't know who that is in the red. I'm sorry. And homegirl on the left, her name always slips me whenever I start a video. So, yeah, you guys are, yeah. Oh, every, every time. Everybody know that's, uh, uh, what's his name? Over there on the far right. Um, dang, I can't even think of his name right now. Don't do drugs, kids. Simon Cow. Simon Cow. Um, yeah, the tough crowd, though. Definitely a tough crowd. He's he's going to have to do some wooing. He already came in kind of with some negative energy. You could tell coming off. He, he was annoyed by Ryan, the other Ryan, interviewing him. So, yeah. Why are you here, Andrew? I'm here auditioning for American Idol. Should be fairly obvious right. at this point. Okay. Also, like waiting around. Okay. Um. <laughs> like fairly obvious at this point. Been like waiting around, <laughs> and you know, like, dude, you like I said, you gotta have some respect. You gotta have some respect. <laughs> And the fact that you're making this obvious, like, to the judges, like, you know what I'm saying? It just doesn't look good for you. It doesn't. It's not going to be good for you if you're going to sit there and tell them. I've been, like, waiting around, like, fairly obvious at this point. Like, very snobby. Like, dude, get out of here. Are you going to sing or what? I think you know why I was asking the question. What, what brought you here to audition? What brought me here to audition? 
I don't think it's that interesting of a question, actually, but Andrew. I think I mean, I mean, I mean, just, you know, snobby, snob, like, get out of here, dude. He's actually just trying to build some kind of chemistry uh, between you and the judges before you start singing, before you start letting your emotions off through your voice. They're trying to build chemistry. They're trying to see where, why you're here, what's your drive. They, you know what I'm saying? That's what that's what they do as judges. They don't just sit here, listen to you sing, and then just, you know what I'm saying, tell you, go tell you to go piss off. Like, they're trying to find out a little bit about you. Are you going to be a a pull, like you know what I'm saying, your story. Is it a good enough story? Like that's what they're trying to find out. Andrew, yeah. Andrew I'm gonna just warn you now. If <laughs> okay. you want to carry on being a smart ass, you can leave the room. Um, and I feel Simon there. I feel like I feel his annoyance. Like stop being annoying. I'm not being a smart. So ass. either answer the questions okay. or leave. Okay, no, I'll answer the questions. I'm gonna answer your questions. I'm sorry, first of all. Okay, what are you gonna sing? I'm gonna sing House of the Rising Sun. You know that song? I'm just, okay. Right. Andrew. He, they, I mean, he, he is really testing them. He, he is really, I don't know if he's doing it on purpose or if he's like, if he's just trying to, I don't know what he's doing. I don't know what he's doing. Later on, he's talking about, oh, he's trying to look confident. Like you're coming off as a jackass. That's what you're coming off as. You really are. You are really pushing this. <laughs> no, I, all right, I'm just gonna sing it. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to push any buttons. All right. Okay. Here we go. There is a house in New Orleans. It's called the Rising Sun. And it's been the ruin of many poor boy. And God, I know. I'm one. So, singing, you could tell he he's he got a little flat in that tone. He, there was a little definitely flat. He's from Boston, parked the car in the backyard. He's from Boston, okay, unemployed. He's 25, and he's got an attitude like this. It's not looking good for you in life. You know what I'm saying? And most of those people, and most of the people that come from Boston, they're they're conservative people. They know how to get their work done. They just want to make a better living in life. But it's just like this guy right here. He just rubs me the wrong way. Like, ugh, fuck him. My mother was a tailor. And right there, I think he messed up. My mother, he, he messed up. He messed up completely. He, deep down inside, he should have been like, yeah, that was it. She sewed my new blue jeans. Look at his face. Like, you can see the emotion in his face. He's frustrated. He's upset. Like, I came all the way from Boston to come out here and wait 12 hours just to do two minutes of singing. That's what's going on in his mind right now. That's what's going He doesn't even care about what the judges is thinking right now. That's what's going through his mind that he's got to. As soon as he's getting done with here, he's got to go back. And he waited 12 hours just to sing for three minutes. That's what's going to be on his mind. He don't even care if he make it to uh, Hollywood. I don't even think he cares about that. My father was a gambling man way down in New Orleans. Thank you. Are you angry? Look at Simon. Simon Simon likes him all of a sudden. Like you could tell right here just from that side smirk. That side Great Britain smirk. That he's just like he's just wooed by him. I don't know what I don't know if it was a singing or if it was like the emotions in his face and I, I don't know. But Simon is just <laughs> He likes him. Look how comfortable he is getting paid millions of dollars to tell people to fuck all. <laughs> am I angry? You very on edge. Tell us, what happened? What happened? Oh, I just am on edge from waiting all day. Honestly. Some what? Just from waiting. It's just Well, you know, waiting. the thing is, you want to be in the music business. And, and right there, Simon's face, Simon's for that smile went right away. He was like, damn, like, you messed it up. I mean, even then, he wasn't going to be good. Like, Simon knew he was, 
they all weren't going to say yes. But he messed it up right there, definitely, by saying he didn't want to wait. He definitely told the wrong person that, too. She's about to spaz on him, though. She's about to spaz. And... <laughs> She's about to go off. Yes, but you don't want to wait to get into American Idol. That, to me, seems to be a problem. And, That's you know, for point. you to have a bad it's attitude true. about no, that kind of pisses me off. I think you're reading actually. it too far. No, no. <laughs> Hold on, hold on, wait, 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 wait. So you're saying that she had a good point, but now you're going to say that she's reading it too far? She's not reading it too far. She literally just said what you said and how it bothered her. There's no reading it too far and there's none of that. No, I'm not reading it too far because you just told me that you were a little bit annoyed that you had to wait Very three annoyed. hours yeah. to come in here and get your shot when there are people that would wait years to do so. So I am now angry at you, who I don't like at all. And she's not wrong. She's not wrong. I, I need to find out what her name is. I'm sorry. Just you guys give me a second. Cause it's killing me. Um It really is killing me. Kara Kara do God do I kick Kara. Just Cara. Cara Del uh, Gardi. She hit the nail on the head right there. She really did. I think that's her name. Let me just... I just want to make sure that's her name. Not, not being wrong. Yeah. Yeah. She she hit the nail on the head right there. Um, you, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, like I said earlier, you, you're a little bummed that you had to wait. However long you had to wait. You know what I'm saying? And there are literally people out there who wait in years, like, you know what I'm saying, lifetimes, you know what I'm saying, to come out on this show, just to show what everybody, what they got, show the judges what they got, to get an opportunity at a record label, or, you know what I'm saying, just to perform live, and for you to come in with that kind of attitude, like, I'm sorry, like, that, that's just a piece of shit attitude, get on with your life. Well, why are you doing this? So why, why are you with all like the attitude? What's the, what's the problem? No. I don't, I don't get why the judges are asking him again, like, what's the problem? He literally just told you that problem. He was waiting too long. That's literally it. Literally it. He was waiting too long. That pisses me off. It really does. How do you, like, waiting too long? Waiting too long. Well, there's no problem at all. I, I think that, I don't know why you guys, there's no. He can't even, he can't even defend himself. He can't even defend himself. Because you were waiting too long. That's all you had to say. You can't defend that. Oh, well, I left the job interview because I was just waiting too long. You don't have a job. What? You got some nerve. You got some nerve, dude. Problem. You walked in mm -hmm. very sulky, quite right. rude, very aggressive. Right. And you've got very, very bad energy. It's just, oh, yeah. Man. You do. Let's have a little conversation about this. Nobody wants to sit here and have a conversation with you about this. Why do you want to talk about this? What is there to talk about? You told us everything that we needed to know. And it does mindset. You told us everything that we needed to know. We heard your singing. It wasn't that good. It wasn't good enough to make you go to Hollywood or be one of the finalists or anything. But like. It is interesting to figure out why you were upset. Like, what, what was the problem? <laughs> I want to... I was trying to seem confident. No way in hell were you trying to seem confident. Look at that face. You mean to tell me the entire time from 0-0 zero, zero on the video player, you were trying to look confident. I didn't see any kind of confidence whatsoever come out of this kid. Confident. Oh. It came over the other way. Very arrogant is how it came out. And you know what you don't... Arrogant, that, that was the word I was looking for. It really was. From the start of the video, arrogant, snobby. It, I mean, you could just see it in his face here. Like, even, like, you could just see the reason why he's single is in the face. He doesn't like being told the truth. You can tell. And he's very manipulated. If he tries to flip things, like, he just tried to flip the script just now. Like, come on, man, don't lie. I don't have the goods to back it up. 
That's what I think he is doesn't. disappointing. Well, I, don't, I, don't, I don't agree with you. I think I do have the goods to back it up. Okay. Did. I'm okay. still getting okay. that attitude. All right. All right. <laughs> Yeah, like, I mean, I wouldn't say that was attitude right there. She probably feels attitude because she probably just doesn't like him at all. I mean, I don't like this guy, but I didn't get any real attitude there. Yes or no? Andrew, no. I'm sorry. Victoria? No. Randy? Wasn't good enough today, dog, no. I would have said yes. You okay? No, oh, that's bullshit, Simon. Come on. I mean, I told you, he got swooned after the singing. He definitely got swooned. Me. I see you're girl, kidding. Me. <laughs> He's starting to grow. You know, the fact that you have the nerve to be you're kidding a quick me. smirk here, a quick smile. He's like, get out of here. Get out of here. For real. You're kidding. <laughs> He's starting to grow. You know what? I had a feeling. Oh, I, I had a feeling oh, you and I yeah, were start. Oh, shut up, you box head. I had a feeling. Like, like come on, man. A little bad, but kind of got to like each other. Well, I'm well, shocked by that. You know what, Simon? That. You have an attitude, but you're at least charming. No, yeah. but you're yeah. not. Yeah. Really? Guys, Wait a minute. You know. You're being really vicious here. I'm you're being really vicious here. You're being really annoying here. We already told you we didn't like your singing. We don't like you. We don't like what you have to say. Why are you still in the room? Please. Sorry, I really don't like you. I, I have I a very strong Carl. reaction uh, to I, you. I don't know why. But I'm not judging you in this way. You can judge me all you want. I just I don't like your attitude. This is why we're getting all well here. You can judge quiet you on the pen there. You're being awful, right? Randy has said almost nothing. Well, so what's the issue? What's the problem? That's all he had to say, and he's just reacting to what everybody else has to say. Hey, Victoria, you, the girl you need a spanking. You need a spanking. That's what you need. She looked like she wanted to give him a spanking. I'm like, like, you saying that he needs a spanking. It, it looked like you want to be the one to give it to him. I mean, that's what I'm just saying. Like, the way she was saying it, she came off as kind of, like, dominant sexual. Like, you know what I'm saying? Not a spanking. Spanking. What are we talking I about? Spanking. 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 Very naughty. Look, look at her. Very naughty. Like, Oh, like, where, where's that energy coming from? Like, do you not like him that much? Damn. Yes or no? <laughs> and Simon was saying, like, yes or no? Simon. <laughs> this is not good. It's true. This is like, not no, good. Turn off is not a good thing. I don't know how I turned she him just off. Did you like have a girlfriend? No, <laughs> Look. Oh, my. She's just grilling this guy, man. She's just grilling. I mean, have you ever had a girlfriend? Like, damn. Mind you, this is on national television here. Like, I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to let no, no. I don't care how high status you are. I don't care if you're Ice Spice. I don't care who you are. I don't care if you're Beyonce, Nikki, whatever the case is. You're not going to sit here and degrade me like that. Like, damn. Like, I'm not, I mean, I, I would never let it get to the point where it would need to get to that. Because when I walk into the room, I'm actually kind of a nice person. Like, this guy, he gave off all the wrong energy. You know what I'm saying? He did everything. It was all his fault. This is all his fault. And, you know, he is soaking it all in. Are you well, married? Andrew, live and learn from this one. Uh, yeah. Simon, shut well, up! Well, I like you guys. Well, oh my <laughs> gosh, cool. <laughs> she has had it with Simon. She's just like, Simon, you can go with him. Like, you are pissing me off. She is hot right now. She is hot. Thank you. See you later. See you later, ladies. Bye. Ooh, we won't miss you. Hit the road, Jack. Don't you come back. You got too busy trying to uh, all right ladies like they don't like you too you're not attractive they're trying to give off this ladies man kind of impression on him now like it's not working it's not he was an asshole from the start he's an asshole at the end no <laughs> oh hey. hey well simon and randy liked me the girls got mad who said randy liked you who said Randy liked you? Randy said, no, not, not today, dog. No. Like, what? Come on, kid. I don't know what I did. He really made... You don't know what you did. You came in with the craziest attitude. Like, what are you talking about? You came in with the most negative attitude I've seen. And a dude.
on this show. That attitude wise. You know what I'm saying? Me upset. I'm not kidding you. That's that's actually actually well, that didn't show. I think he liked you, Carl. Kara, you, you connected with Kara. Oh, in a I way I've not seen in a long time. What the hell yeah, happened? Kara, I don't know. I was yeah. just asking you. I don't even know. He, he, man, just the fact that he's puzzled is just like, there should be no reason why you're puzzled. And we thought Bikini just, Girl left Kara. As he just walks off, you know what I'm saying, in those work shoes, like, come on, man. with a bad taste in her mouth. I feel like I need to go home and take a shower Hideously after Hideously arrogant. Ooh, Even more arrogant gross. than Simon. After the... All right. That's... That was another... That's another one in the books, y'all. For real. Uh, that was Andrew Fenlon right there. Coming out of Boston, Massachusetts. Uh, that was a good one. It was. Hey, go. Damn near 20, 26 minutes. I think I gave it a 12 deal. It was a funny one. <laughs> it was. I do a lot more talking than laughing in this one because he just pisses me off. He does. Andrew Fenley. He really does piss me off. Um, but yeah, you already know. Dismissive Hennessy and we out. Take a sip for me. I said a sip. A shot, man. For real. Appreciate it.